Hi, I'm Audrey. I'm a computer vision scientist at Wayfair. Um, and some of the things that I work on is a human in the loop computer vision system. So today I wanted to share some of the principles that we use to be able to build this system. Um, I'm gonna start off by saying that we have successfully implemented this and have seen a lot of value in doing this. It only involves working with a lot of engineering and business teams, which not only helps us build this system coexistively, but also cohesively where we can continuously iterate on it. So before I get started, I wanted to give you a little bit of preview on what it looks like to build a model. As data scientists, all of us are looking to build models. So let's get started. Um, so even before we think about building a model, the first thing that we want to look at is what is the business problem that we are trying to solve. So always try identifying a business problem that has direct impact. So once we have identified a business problem, the next piece on us is to kind of break this problem down into a data science problem. So for us in computer vision, we break it down into a computer vision problem. Once you have broken it down to a data science problem, the next piece is let's prototype. Let's get some data, let's start prototyping. That's where we get to the first stage of model development. So we start doing prototyping. We get to a stage where we're like, oh, well, I think we're getting good results. We immediately switch to the second step, which is test. Offline test as much as we want, as much as we can. We don't want to spend a lot of time doing this. We can, as soon as we have done two, three, four, five iterations, we are quickly start thinking about how can we deploy this? Because building it in your dev environment could look very different from how it looked like in the production environment. So pretty soon we are on the third step, we're talking about how do we deploy this? Once you have kind of know how we deploy it, we immediately deploy it and then spend a considerable time understanding if it can drive business value. So I'm gonna highlight this step of driving business value. In a company like Wayfair, uh, although we encourage innovation and research, we also want to build things that is useful for the company, useful for the business. So once you're able to identify that, hey, this is gonna have measurable business value, so far we've been doing a scrap little project, we've been prototyping, let's go back and start iterating. And we go through this big cycle of iteration a few times till we get to a stage where you're like, you know what, my model is pretty good, it does a good job. But more often than not, as the distributions of a data set uh, or a real-time data set changes, you see that your model starts performing worse or it just performs, it, its performance decreases over time. Keeping this in mind, and this quite, happens quite often in a computer vision world because we're operating on images and images can change, their quality could change, there are a million different things that could change. So keeping that in mind, we build something called a computer vision human in the loop system. So how, to, how does all that get started? So we're gonna start from how uh, we get images at Wayfair. So images at Wayfair generally come from our suppliers. So suppliers uh, who are partners, who want to sell products on our platform, say, hey, these are the products you're going to sell and these are the images associated with it. So we get these images, they go to something called a tagging tool. Now this tagging tool is powered by a live service, uh, which is again powered by an AI model that we have designed. Uh, in this tagging tool, every image gets automatically tagged uh, with all the details that we want about it. Once that's been done, we have mechanical Turks or uh, workers uh, who look at these images and their automated tags and collect the missed tags, the, the, the tags that aren't right or the model did not make a correct prediction. Once we, they correct it, we have good data at that point. So this is where we land up with good data. We put that in our Wayfair catalog or our Wayfair directory. Now this data that Offshore uses to correct missed tags, that is very useful information for us, for us to iterate on the model and make it better. Understand where the gaps are. So we take that data and we start analyzing where are the gaps, how can we make it better. So we take all of this, create, recreate an AI model that is better than last time. Once we have that, we go through the deploy process, we take it, put it into a live service, we also have a batch service. So what does the batch service do? The batch service takes in this model and goes and backfills images that are currently mistagged because we know the model now is better than what we had last time. Um, that'll be all for today. 
Um, thanks for listening. Please check back soon to hear more about projects at Data Science. Thank you.